good morning students this is the second session of geography the earth our living planet in the first session we have discussed about size of the earth other names of the earth shape of the earth these are the things we discussed in the first session now in this session we are going to discuss about latitudes longitudes grid local time etc students we know that the earth is spherical in shape therefore it is difficult to locate the places the direction and calculate distance between places in order to understand the relations between different places on the earth and their exact location we have to understand their position their distance from any fixed point and also their exact direction to know the position distance and direction east and west or north and south a network of lines are drawn on the globe these are known as lines of longitudes and latitudes these lines intersect each other at right angles and create a network called grid or graticule latitudes latitude is an imaginary line which joins all the places which have the same angular distance north or south of the equator it is measured in degrees the equator 0 degree is the longest line of latitude known as the great circle it is equal to the circumference of the earth other lines of latitudes are of shorter length the length of lines of latitude decreases with the distance from the equator all lines of latitude are circles and parallel to the equator some important latitudes are 0 degree latitude equator or great circle 26 and a half degree north latitude tropic of cancer 23 and a half degree south latitude tropic of capricorn 66 and a half degree north latitude arctic circle 66 and a half south latitude antarctic circle 90 degree north north pole and 90 degree south is called as south pole longitudes the imaginary lines that intersect equator at right angle joining the north and south are called longitudes on the globe longitudes are shown as a series of semicircles that run from pole to pole passing through the equator all lines of longitude are of equal length lines of longitudes are called meridians meri means mid dian means day because all places along the same meridian of longitude experience noon or midday at the same time the meridian passing through greenwich has been chosen as prime meridian it is marked as 0 degree longitude there are 180 of longitude to the east of greenwich and 180 to the west thus there are 360 of longitude the zone between the prime meridian and 180 east longitude is called the eastern hemisphere 
the opposite zone is called the western hemisphere observe the screen children here the horizontal lines are the lines of latitudes and the vertical ones are the lines of longitude these line intersect each other at right angles and create a network called grid or graticule based on this grid we can locate the places on the globe longitude and time there is a definite relation between longitude and time the earth is rotating on the axis and completes one rotation in 24 hours this means 360 longitudes are covered in a period of 24 hours this gives rise to a time difference of 4 minutes for every 1 degree of longitude 60 minutes or 1 hour for every 15 degrees of longitude the time difference is to be added in case of places to the east of gmt and in case of places to the west of the time difference is to be subtracted always the countries which are in the east side they will be ahead of timing compared to the countries which will be in western side so only we are having different time zones in each and every country and we can experience the time difference between each and every country as the local time varies from place to place it would create considerable confusion if each place were to follow its own local time in order to avoid confusion many countries follow uniform time throughout the country such uniform time is based on the central meridian of the country or the meridian on which the most important city is located this uniform time which is followed throughout the country is called standard time of that country time zones in certain countries of the world where the longitudinal extent is so large more than 45 degree of longitude that there is often a difference of 3 to 4 hours between one part and the other the land surface is divided into time zones the whole globe is divided into 24 such time zones so that the time in each zone differ from the other by only 1 hour large countries like russia usa canada and australia have vast longitudinal extent therefore they have different time zones russia has 11 time zones usa and canada have five time zones and australia has three time zones in india 82 and a half degree east longitude is considered as the standard meridian of the country it passes through allahabad of uttar pradesh the time based on this meridian is called the indian standard time that is ist it is 5 hours and 30 minutes ahead of gmt that is greenwich meridian time the problem of time in countries of the world was solved first by the standard time and then by the zonal time but the circumnavigation of the world brought a new problem in keeping the correct date and day in the week for the travelers therefore a line passing through 180 degree meridian diametrically opposite to the 
Greenwich Meridian Time was adopted as the point where circumnavigator should make adjustments. This line is supposed to pass Pacific Ocean along the 180 degree meridian but make short detours in order to avoid land masses. This is known as the international date line because the date and day is changed whenever people cross this line by ships or aeroplanes. Any ship crossing this line from west to east for example Asia to North America it takes a date wise while the ship crossing the line from east means North America to Asia to west drops one day these are the points of the lesson the earth our living planet this is the second and last session of the lesson children in a couple of days you are going to get the activity classwork part and the assignments till that have a good day children thank you